after me for and from home. In any case, uh, my <coughs> home is not far away from here. And uh, if there is uh, any problem, I should be able to get back here. But as we speak, um, I'm okay. Uh, a little bit weak, uh, but uh, I feel better. Uh, the pain, the intense pain has gone away. What is there is very little pain. It is manageable for a man. A man must be able to study some of these small things. But uh, in his assessment, I'm out of danger. But when I came in, it was uh, it was very 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 severe. And uh, I want to thank the people of Kenya uh, for their prayers. And uh, I'm sorry, many came to see me. I was not able to see them. The doctor could not allow them because I needed a lot of rest. And uh, I was at a very uh, serious observation by a team of doctors and uh, nurses. And therefore, I was not able to receive visitors. And I want to thank those who took their time to come and, uh, and, and, and visit me. Uh, some millions of Kenyans who have been praying for me for my quick recovery. I really do want to thank them and to say that I will remain forever indebted to them. Uh, for their concern, for their love, and uh, for wishing me quick recovery. Mm. Uh, very unfortunate turn of events there, uh, in that particular time. Um, even as you were receiving uh, treatment, uh, a lot was going on uh, in terms of uh, Senate proceedings, the outcome of that. There's also a very active, you know, uh, legal proceedings on the same resuming on Tuesday. In the wake of all this, uh, even as the doctor has recommended that, you know, you, you have a sufficient rest, you know, at home, but uh, maybe just tell us, will we be seeing you active? Will you respond to all these issues that are going? We're talking about a parliamentary outcome. We're also talking about a legal process which is so intense that has even involved a three-judge bench. Uh, what will be your reaction towards all this? I think for now my life comes first, my health comes first. It's unfortunate that when I was here in hospital, my brother and friend, President William Ruto, ordered for the withdrawal of my security from the hospital here. I've been here alone without a single officer looking after me. He ordered the withdrawal of security guards in my rural home in Nyeri, in my private home here in Karen. And all officers who are close to me were disarmed and given a warning that they should not be anywhere near me. I didn't know President William Ruto can be that vicious. I am shocked by how vicious a man I helped to be president, a man that I believed in, a man that I was persecuted when supporting him, could so be so vicious against me when I'm literally fighting for my life in hospital. How cruel can a man be? You know, as we speak today, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, regarding Ashagwa, has no single security officer around him. He's alone. And um, I am aware that a judge seated in Kirogoya, another one seated in Midmani, gave conservatory orders, staying the proceedings of the Senate, which effectively means I'm deputy president. But the president in total violation of the court orders, viciously, with due security around me. Again, to cripple the functions of my office, he ordered through the head of public service, Felix Koske, that all officers in my office be sent on compulsory leave. Yesterday, last night, all vehicles assigned to officers who work under me were impounded to cripple the office of the deputy president. I don't understand this level of viciousness. 
who are men who have been your deputy who helped you to become president irrespective of whatever he has done at his lowest moment in life when he's literally struggling to stay alive you unleash such viciousness against him i bear no grudge against anybody but uh, this had, had not seen that in president william ruto the man i'm seeing is the one is not the one that i thought that i knew i know there was concerted effort that i should not go to kuala for the celebration wilson airport were told that i should not go through wilson airport all owners of helicopters were told that i should not be allowed to use any of them to go to kuala